Bad hombre here. Is that Lee Van Cleef? I think that was Lee Van Bad Boy Cleef. There he is, Gary Cooper. If I'm a man, I, must I think it is. That's a very young Lee Van Cleef. Yep, there he is, Lee Van Cleef. You in a hurry? Yeah, I sure am. You're a fool. Come on. Wow, he came outside the marshal's office and created a ruckus. Noon train on time? Uh, yes, sir. Don't know reason why it shouldn't be. Mr. Pierce? Mr. Colby? Ah, so he's terrified. He's terrified of him. So Mr. he called him. <laughs> You will, Kane, take Amy to be your lawful wedded wife. Okay, so this is this is great conflict because this is a special day in his life, and here comes the bad guys. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so you can see he's kind of a reserved, withdrawn personality. Doesn't seem like he likes too much attention. Amy, it seems to me like people ought to be alone when they get married. I know. I'll do my best. I will too. See, that's better, my guy. Come on, everybody. And don't look so no shy to me. Ah, this guy, this guy in the middle on the left, he was in It's a Wonderful Life. He was the uncle. He was George's uncle. Well, with the fine job you've done here, I feel free to say, and the judge will bear me out. This town will be safe till tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> you win. He's giving it up. All right, now we go around. He's retiring. Marshal, telegram for you. They pardon Frank Miller. What is it, I don't really? believe it. A week ago, too. Ben Miller is down for depot now with Jim Pierce and Jack Colby. They asked about the noon train. The noon train? So the brother's about to come in on that train, I think. This town, this very minute. Come on, what let's get him going. Oh, never mind that now. Because two names were Miller there, so that's what I heard. So I'm assuming there's some kind of relation. I think I ought to stay. Are you crazy? Think of Amy. Wow, that's a nice shot. Huh. That's funny. Oh, that's that guy from Airplane. <laughs> Looks like I picked the wrong week to quit amphetamines. Well, you can't see now. Kane and his new wife just took off in a big hurry. I'm going to do my best to try and take him seriously in this one. You shouldn't have come back, Will. Stupid. I can deputize a posse. Ten, twelve guns is all I need. In the 5th century BC, the citizens of Athens, having suffered grievously under a tyrant, managed to depose and banish him. However, when he returned some years later, an armed mercenary, those same citizens, not only opened the gates for him, but stood by while he executed members of the legal government. You're a judge. I've been a judge many times, many times. I hope to live to be a judge again. <laughs> Look, this is just a dirty little village in the middle of nowhere. Nothing that happens here is really important. Now get out. There isn't time. What a waste. Good luck. Damn, he's gone, bro. He is out of there. Kane will be a dead man in half an hour. And when he dies, this town dies too. I don't like anybody to put his hands on me unless I want him to. And I don't like you to anymore. <laughs> yeah, he's starving, man. He can't let her go. Yeah, that brother's starving. Yes, sir, brother. <laughs> One down. One down. Oh, what is she doing? the street okay I'm liking this it's kind of cat and mouse I didn't know how it's gonna play out I I imagined a gunfight in the middle of the street but it's a bit of cat and mouse which is which makes sense he's got to pick them off one by one whoa Get to high ground. It's over, Anakin! I have the high ground! He's gonna let the horses loose. Oh. Was 
Was he hit? I'm actually really worried about her. What is she doing? They've got him flanked. Is this gonna happen? Is it gonna happen? The Ramirez said to her she would stand and pick up a gun and stand by him. Oh, she does. <laughs> Nice, nice. I also found it interesting that Ramirez wore black and Amy wore white, while Kane wore both black and white. If you really want to get deep into the interpretation of this, then you could look at it from the occult or mystical standpoint. Yep, Hollywood is into that. In the tradition of the Western, the good guys wore white and the bad guys wore black. That would either be the clothes that they were wearing or their hats. So if Kane is wearing both black and white, that would represent the concept of the duality of man, the yin and the yang, the good and the bad, which would make Kane an anti-hero type. But I'm gonna look at it from the angle of Kane being the embodiment of what both women desire, and that each woman is a reflection of the main facets of his character for this story. If you enjoyed this clip of my reaction to High Noon, then you can watch the full YouTube cut by clicking the link in the description. Also, if you'd like to try something a little bit different on your reading list or add something unique to your physical media collection, check out my published screenplay Ghost Town, which is a western with a zombie twist. To get a free sample, click the link in the description and hit the download button. After you've pressed the download button, just check your downloads folder to confirm that the file transfer was successful. You can also watch a short scene excerpt that I put together for YouTube, which is also in the description. If you did get any value from this video, hit the like button, subscribe and share. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next reaction.